Hello um, and good morning. Another very chilly morning here in Delhi and uh, I'm speaking to you again from my office at Kango Kiwi uh, Education Services in Lakshminagar. Uh, uh, you probably don't know, maybe you do. My name's Tim and I'm the senior IELTS trainer here. So what I'm going to do this morning is just give you a quick run through which deals with maps. Now the maps and floor plans and so on occur in your task one academic writing and also uh, usually in section two of listening. So first of all, uh, let's have a little look at the idea of uh, how you deal with the maps in your task, which, as I mentioned, usually uh, is, comes in listening, and it's usually in the second, uh, related to the second audio. And what you'll find is that um, the speaker will be guiding you round an area. Now, you, sometimes you'll get maps, you'll also sometimes get a floor plan of something. Um, now, a lot of my students uh, kind of struggle with this because there's quite a lot of information and you're give it, being given directions and uh, do this, do this, do this, you know. And what you have to do, you'll notice on the map that there are certain places which are marked by letters of the alphabet. And below that, you'll have a list of place names. Um, I'll show you one, but again, I'm sorry you won't be able to see it terrifically clearly. Um, so in this case, this is the area that it's dealing with. So you can see on the plan, the map, there are letters of the alphabet, and below the place names. Which I'm sorry, they're all back to front, but anyway, it gives you an idea. So you have to then write the correct letter. As you can see, somebody's been working on this one. The correct letter from the map next to the place name. Now, the reason that people get muddled up with this is because, as I mentioned, they direct you here, they direct you there, there's no, sometimes there's no kind of real sequence to it, you know, they jump from one place to another. Now, as you're probably aware, if you've ever done any uh, listening practice, that a good percentage of being successful is absolute concentration, complete focus on what's being said, what you're looking at, and being able to write your answers fairly quickly while the conversation and so on is going on. Um, so, what happens is, in some of them, you'll notice that there's the uh, compass points, north, south, east, west. That can help you a little bit to get your, what we call, your bearings, where exactly you are. But if there isn't one, think about words like above, below, across, next to, and also the simple things like turn right, turn left, go straight on, turn round, go back in the same direction. All these kind of phrases, which are very, very uh, often used, um, can help you, can help you kind of understand which direction you've got to go in. Now, as you can see, well, you can't see, I'm sorry about this. This is back to front on the video, you know. Um, you'll notice, right, that it's like this. So they generally give you a starting point, like where it says you are here, right? And they describe where you've got to go. Um, now, one of the problems with, with this is that they'll get to a certain point. So if we look on here, like right up here where you have this letter, they'll say, and this is something. So you're struggling to think, right, oh, that's that, and now I've got to find out well, which one did they say it was from the list below and all this business. So, what I recommend people do is, say they're talking about this one up here, instead of writing, kind of thinking, oh right, this is this, they just draw a line, go straight down to the place that it is. Because if you spend a lot of time uh, working out which one, or think which, one, which name is it, and so on, they'll have moved on. They'll be talking about another part, a different part of the map, and you'll have missed the opportunity of getting another right answer. Um, so that's one thing you can do. The other thing, as I mentioned, like on this one, you'll notice there's the uh, compass points. Now, this is, <laughs> this is going to sound like, you know, really stupid, but sometimes when we're really concentrating, we're focusing really hard on what's being said and so on, that they'll say, turn right, turn left, um, and so on, right? And we have to suddenly think, oh, left, right, left, left, left. But the problem is, if you, if you, I'm sorry about this, but anyway, if you take here, look, round here, you go straight up here, and 
in this case, say they say turn, uh, be turn right, so you go along here. But by the time you come round here, down this road, your right hand and left hand are on the opposite sides from where they were here. So what, again, I recommend to people is that as they're going round, they turn the map round like this so that you always know much more easily which is left, which is right, without having to think about, oh, I've gone round a corner and all this kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of like one of, one of the ideas that can help you with it, really. Um, so finally, just kind of like another little point, as I say, they'll tell you that you're in a particular place Keep your pencil, or uh, I guess you'll be working with pencil on these, keep your pencil in the place that they tell you where you are. And if, for example, here they say it's Station Square, right, on that bit there, draw what they're telling you to do. So go straight across Station Square, uh, up the road, directly in front of you you'll see the bank, turn right, follow the road round, the curve, and along Hill Road, you'll notice a zigzag path there. You can see that. So pay attention to little things like that, which again can keep you in place. And that's that's one of the main things, so that you don't get completely lost as they're directing you around. Um, I mean, the, you know, one of the big problems, uh, one of the other big problems, I'm sorry, with with the listening test is that. They do expect you to be able to understand everything perfectly first time because, as you probably know, um, you can only listen to these audios once. You can't stop them, go back a little bit and listen to it again just to double check, which in many respects makes it really, really difficult because in some kind of normal everyday conversation, like say for example you ask somebody the directions to go to a place, <coughs> excuse me, um, and they say, OK, oh yeah, that's fine, you just go straight up this road, turn right, when you see the cinema, go left, and directly in front of you. And you can say, oh, I'm sorry, did you say turn right or turn left by the cinema? And they'll tell you, but in IELTS listening, you have to get it right first time. So this is where this whole thing, as I mentioned right at the beginning, concentrate, keep well focused on everything that's being said. Don't allow any other thoughts to come into your mind. Um, when you're sitting your test, everything will be perfectly silent, you'll be on earphones so you won't be distracted, everybody will be doing the same test so they won't be kind of like extraneous noise like uh, you perhaps sometimes hear when I'm doing these videos in the office from the main road outside in our metro station which is very close by. So I hope uh, some of those little tips about how to deal with the two areas of maps, one in academic writing, one usually in section two of listening, will give you a few ideas about how you can try to cope with it. Anyway, um, keep warm, keep happy, keep studying, and uh, also you can follow us on YouTube, do subscribe to our channel and like us, and um, I'll take this opportunity.